Project parameters are custom parameters that you define and add to multiple categories of elements in a project. They are specific to the project and cannot be shared with other projects. You can then use those project parameters in multi-category or single category schedules. To define project parameters, on the Manage ribbon, in the Settings panel, click Project Parameters. Revit displays the Project Parameters dialog. In this project, there is already one project parameter, Subdiscipline, which is already defined in the default Revit project template. Select Subdiscipline and then click Modify. Revit displays the Parameter Properties dialog. Here, you can see that the parameter type is read only. This is defined when you first create the parameter and cannot be changed. In the Parameter Data section, you can see and change the name of the parameter. The discipline and type of parameter fields are read only. Again, these are defined when you first create the parameter and cannot be changed afterwards. You can see that the subdiscipline parameter is a text parameter, so even if you were to enter a number, this parameter could not be used in calculations. In the Group parameter under dropdown, you can specify the group in which the parameter will appear. Below that, you can see the tooltip description if one has been added. If a tooltip description has not been specified, it will read, No Tooltip Description. To add one, click Edit Tooltip. This displays the Edit Tooltip dialog, which is essentially a text box to add up to 250 characters to describe the parameter. To add a custom tooltip, simply replace the default text. The tooltip will then appear in the Parameter Properties dialog and when you hover your cursor over the parameter in either the Properties Palette or Type Properties dialog. This can help all team members better understand the parameter that you have created. Click Cancel to close the dialog without modifying the tooltip. Back in the Parameter Data section, you can see that Instance is selected, indicating that this is an instance parameter so it will be included in each instance of each selected category. Again, this is read-only. Once you specify this when you first create the parameter, it can no longer be changed. Below Type and Instance are options pertaining to groups. They are only available when the parameter is set to Instance. And depending on the type of parameter, these options are either available or dimmed. Since the type of parameter is text, they are available. If you want the parameter to be the same for each instance of a group, you can select Values are aligned per group type. Additionally, if the parameter needs to vary between each instance of a group, select Values can vary by group instance. Leave this set to Values are aligned per group type for now. When you scroll down in the Categories list, you can see that the Subdiscipline parameter is only applied to the Views category. When you select Hide Unchecked Categories, you can see that Views is the only selected category. Each view will include a Subdiscipline parameter. Click Cancel to close the Parameter Properties dialog. Now create a new project parameter. In the Project Parameter dialog, click Add. Revit displays the Parameter Properties dialog. Since you are defining a new parameter, all of the fields are initially available. Since this is going to be a project parameter, Make sure that in the Parameter Type section, Project Parameter is selected. 
Note that if you wanted to create a shared parameter, you could select Shared Parameter. In the Parameter Data section, in the Name field, enter Max NC for Maximum Noise Criterion. Leave the Discipline set to Common. When you expand the Type of Parameter dropdown, you can see all of the parameter types. Be aware that when this option is set to Integer, Number, Length, Angle, Slope, Yes, No, or Family Type, the Group options are not available. But when it is set to Text, Area, Volume, Currency, Mass Density, URL, or Material, the Group options are available. Leave this set to Text. Expand the Group parameter under Dropdown and select Green Building Properties. This controls where the parameter appears in the appropriate Properties dialog. And if you want to be able to control the maximum NC separately for each instance, select Instance. Next, select Values can vary by group instance. Now click Edit Tooltip to open the Edit Tooltip dialog. Replace the default text with Specify Maximum NC Value based on the space the duct system is serving. You could also enter the specific values that could be entered, or instruct to refer to a specific NC schedule. Click OK to close the dialog. In the Categories list, in order to be able to control the maximum NC for several different categories, select the checkboxes adjacent to Duct Accessories, Duct Fittings, Duct Insulation, Duct Linings, Duct Placeholders, Duct Systems, Ducts, and Flex Ducts. Notice that in the lower left corner, you can see that the project parameter you are creating will be added to all elements in the selected categories. Click OK to complete the creation of the new project parameter. You can see that it's been added to the project parameters list. Click OK to close the project parameters dialog. Now you can set some of the custom parameters. First, open the Level 2 HVAC plan and zoom in to the southeast corner of the building. Select a duct in the system on the right and then switch to the Duct Systems contextual ribbon. In the Properties palette, the Max NC parameter is available. When you hover your cursor over the Max NC parameter, a tooltip appears that shows the parameter name along with the custom tooltip that you added. Click in the Max NC field and type 40. To see the new project parameter in action, create a new schedule. In the Project Browser, right-click Schedules Quantities and choose New Schedule Quantities. In the New Schedule dialog, select Duct Systems. Next, click OK. In the Schedule Properties dialog, in the Available Fields list, select System Name and add it to the scheduled fields. Do the same for Family and Type and Max NC. Then click OK. Now you can see the new schedule. If you want to specify the maximum NC for all of these systems, you can click in the Max NC field and type a value. Adding project parameters allows you to create additional parameters for system families as well as for loadable families.